So this is gonna be, a, let's hope, a quick video to show you off the Angelarium deck, which I made this pretty pouch thanks to Dom Michelle from Brotero because she has an amazing tutorial. Uh, yes, the cards are in order according to the book, but. Uh, let's just show them off. So, first of all, I don't know anything about Kabbalah, which this deck is based upon. I only know that Britney was interested in when she was fangirling over Madonna, so that's how much I know about it. I'm not, if so, if I say something that seems like it's disrespectful, it's not, it's just that I don't know, but. What I want to say and what's the DR of this video is actually is that if you like the art, if you just like one card and you were thinking about getting this deck, go ahead and get it. It reads so nicely in readings, even if you don't uh, know anything about Kabbalah. The... Um, where is the... here is the... Let's hope nothing falls apart. The guidebook is... A Los Carabeo uh, guidebook, which apparently means that there's not a lot of information in it. I think that's the pretty much the English, so as you can see, but there are keywords and signs to that we can you can use in readings, and I find them very helpful. Also, the imagery for me it's it's very invoking. You, I can read them intuitively very nicely and the keywords I mean not on the root and connection but in the later ones with the angels of I don't know night you can connect the night into the reading so so very nicely so this is gonna be just hopefully a quick flip through so I'm gonna shut up and just show you the cards Hopefully my camera is going to be cooperating. So this is Malkut, Ground, the Kingdom, who is the, at the bottom of the tree. Yes, so root connection. If I'm pronouncing a name incorrectly, I'm really sorry. Ah, oh, but it's just so damn gorgeous. <laughs> I have the year one and two, it's Netza, Netza, right leg endurance, which is very ten of swords, uh, ten of wands for me, but you can see, oh, can you see, isn't it, no, I know it's beautiful using a, a, the word beautiful regarding to a kind of zombie like creature might not seem right, but trust me it is, so, I have a video about the year one and two cards of the Angelarium that he, the artist, sells at conventions. And so if you watch that, you were able to see the cards in smaller, without these uh, titles, because it's called Left Leg Submission. And there's only one card, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know. Then I noticed that's in this card, but it's not in the year or one and two. It's Tiferet, Heart and Beauty, which can be read as there's beauty in destruction because everything is falling apart. But there's also like these hands handing in things. I don't know, I just, I love it left hand judgment and i was wrong in the other video because it was the same head i just was concentrating on this part of the card because it looks like a beautiful sunset but it's definitely judgment i mean you can see the big biggest sword that will cut you down if you did something wrong right hand empathy and the way she's holding this ball in the protective 
um, mm, what's it's a cloak yeah in the protective cloak I think it just represents empathy being gentle with each other and with uh, other people and with yourself very nicely and my absolute favorite one I don't know why I'm vibing this card with so well but it's the emptiness but everything starts here right in the nothingness left eye Bina the Aznek was that I think that's how you say it I don't know <laughs> it's Bina left eye knowledge and you can see that you know like what we always talk about with the high priestess that knowledge and usually it's coming from within ourselves if we're attuned if we're connected to the higher ups we can get this we can get the knowledge just we humans tend to forget how to access that chokma right eye wisdom I hope I'm in frame. Keter, the grand spirituality. He is at the top of the tree, obviously, connecting everything to ev all the, you know, the higher ups is connected to us through him or it. Better to say, I don't think they have a gender. A more colorful, colorful, what is it, such a hard word, <laughs> Shaquille, not Sha Shahaki, but <laughs> sorry, Shaquille, you know, right? Angel of Sky, and I know that these rings are protection rings, you know, he's protecting himself and us with them. Ah, it's beautiful. One of my favorite ones, the... Aestibus, Angel of Divination. I like that he its clothes are looking like the galaxy. And you know he's walking on the earth because that's probably the moon, but who knows? These could be completely different planets. Hemp Angel of Time. For some reason I just enjoy the fact that there's a you know flame. The knowledge of flame, maybe? It's always burning. And you, you see, you can use time in a reading very well, very easily. Divination, time, or angel of punishment. Because we might punish ourselves, or we think that we have the right to punish other people. It, it can be used in a tarot reading so easily, even if you don't know much about these entities. Angel of Vernacy, Sakle, Saklev, how do you say this, Saklev, Saklev, let's see, so much green, it's such a naturey, earthy card, and it's kind of, I, I like the idea that animals notice these angels better than we do, because they are still connected to the earth, to the ground, to the soil, more than we are because for some reason humanity thinks that it's above nature which I don't get but and I hope we're gonna find our way back is Raphael angel of song another beautiful one more feminine this time I think even if with the of a boob <laughs> but the flames the flame of passion and creativity is just beautiful. Send the foam, which sounds like a foam, <laughs> made of a sandal, which is like. <laughs> okay, I stop. Angel of New Life, which, if you look at it, they are connected. At least they look like they are giving me Gemini. Uh, you know, those duality feelings. And it's, it's, it looks like it's the new life of the earth, actually. Uh, 
becoming habitable with the flames and the rocks and the, and the steam. At least that's what I envision when I look at it. I love this one. Leliel. Leliel. Such a nice name. Angel of Night with the beautiful moon. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. I know I'm not being very helpful, but I'm just hoping you're enjoying the flip through. It's Duma, Angel of Dreams. And he's holding all our dreams in his hand. In his hand, he's him, whatever. You know, like letting it pass through. Because there are some rocks and uh, like looks like an ocean, but in a way it looks like he's in half of, half of the angel is in the galaxy. Ramiel, angel of visions. Definitely a little bit different from the rest. Hashmet, Angel of Annihilation, which could be similar to Punishment, but uh, obviously it's not. And it has this alien like <laughs> laggy creature, which reminds me of oh god, what's the game called? XCOM, obviously. Yeah, I'm playing with the second one. No, I'm playing with the first one. Jeez, it's been a while. But you know, those, if you play the game, you know what I mean by these legs. He's like, oh, okay, game over. That kill, Angel of Mercy, which I very much like because this creature, this angel, looks like the devil which we kind of keep forgetting was an angel according to the bible obviously whatever you are believing in but i think it, it's nice to be reminded that a certain kind of face doesn't immediately mean evil angel of death it's a beautiful one with the book where all our names are and the apple because that is there to be our witness, so to speak. Because this angel saw everyone and everything and will see everyone die, which is kind of like that. Hmm, I don't remember the name, but if you've read uh, the. Oh God, why do I keep forgetting my favorite book's name? And where is it in my... Okay, I can't see it. I don't remember which bookshelf I have this on. I'm gonna link the book down below, but with Ryslin and the and Cameroon, the, the twins, mm, it's the dragons of a summer night and stuff like that in the title. I just can't remember the one, but Ryslin actually encounters someone who, you know, keeps a record of everyone who lives, lives outside of human existence just keeping the record and when I saw this one I was thinking about that Shatayil oh god angel of silence yeah I should be just sh shutting up right <laughs> but the silence in the snow perfect combination Raziel angel of mysteries with the book that has all the answers we want to know and if you look at its wings it's, these are papers pages from the book I think which I think is very cool Fanuel Angel of Truth in a meditative uh, lotus position and with the crown chakra open and used One of my other favorites, out of all, <laughs> Sacriel, Angel of Memory. I talked about this in the other uh, vote through, but I just like how fragile our memory is. I mean, I don't like that. I just like how it's depicted in this 
picture because it's so true. We can lose our memory so easily. Which is a sad thing. Or sometimes it's a blessing. Gabriel, Angel of Heralds. With this... I don't even know if it's a separate creature. I don't think so. No, it's coming out of him. It... But it's absolutely stunning. Uriel, Angel of Flame. And the flame is in the head up there, not inside, probably somewhere here, which is which I find interesting. And he has uh, devil like like you know, hoofs uh, that's the name, like the horse hoofs. I just remember a random word, so if it's not that I'm sorry. But uh, this card actually doesn't give me that um, creative, passionate vibe than the Angel of Song. It's more like the the flame that will show, shine a light on issues, that will force you to look at something. Angel of Snow, Shalagia, Shalagia, who is very much... Uh, a good combination with the Angel of Silence. And it could, you know, you can read this as a winter phase, for example, in a reading. Angel of Rain, Material, who will wash away all your bullshit. <laughs> no, they will, it, he will wash away it because it's not a human like creature, even though. It has a six ten pack something, but I always think like that. I don't look at the water in this one as emotions, even though it can obviously, or I don't know, it may, might say that. It's I look at it as something you know, like that washing you clean. That this is that kind of of rain when you go out into the rain and you will feel lighter because it pretty much feel like you're cleansing yourself. And the last one, this is the only one that wasn't present in the other two decks. It's Shimikiel, Angel of Vengeance. And I really like how it this looks like a dream catcher. And let's check what actually is in the book about Angel of Vengeance, so you can see. Let me see here, let me see if I can find it because I didn't put it in order. I use it too much, so I'm gonna hold it up so you can read the whole thing if you want to. But it's about, yeah, that feeling when you want to go at someone. And you want to attack someone, and you hurt want to hurt someone. But this sentence that if you go at someone and you try to hurt them, you will, and you use such a sharp thing as a sword, metaphorically, you will end up hurting yourself as well. So they always say that if you go. How is that saying? That if you go uh, about digging a grave, dig too. There was some grave digging <laughs> metaphor which I, which clearly escapes me like words. But I hope you, you were able to read it if you wanted to. But yeah, it's about vengeance. That it's never an easy. It's never just about the other person. You always hurt yourself as well in the process, just like anger. So, like I said, if you are considering getting this deck and you like the artwork, get it. You, I promise you, you will be able to use it. For me, at least, this is a very good uh, way to connect to the Iops. Because I can actually see these creatures, these angels, as something 
so non-human. And I'm not gonna say higher than a human because that's um not not a good way to put it, but yeah, for me they are in the realm of something more knowing. But yeah, that's all. I can hear the cat uh, sitting at the door in the next room so, and the dog is barking already so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this and please go and buy the deck and tell him to make a tarot deck please please please.